What do you got there? Got some raw milk straight from the farm on the dairy farm at Waddell's. Delicious. And he's about to herd some cattle in right by us. Lisa, did you know that Yingling is America's oldest brewery? And it's in Pennsylvania? We're here at Yingling, the oldest brewery in America. They have free tours and free samples of beer at the end. Let's check it out. As you're waiting for your tour, you can step into the waiting room, which is full of Yingling memorabilia and history. Yingling was established in 1829, and it's currently run by Richard L. Yingling. His daughters are the sixth generation and will be taking over the brewery as he steps down. Girl power. So this is where they used to fill the barrels of beer. So there'd be five or six workers here, and they would actually bring their coffee cups and fill it up in the morning, have a morning drink. So So we're in a hand dug cave by Yingling that they used during the Prohibition. They had all their beer. They would, they would go up these stairs here where there's a spring, a water spring. They'd get their water from there where the guys with the buckets would go up there, get the water, and come back down. Luckily, they don't do that anymore, but this is a hand dug tunnel that they used for countless of years, hundreds of years, and now they don't use it anymore, but it's pretty epic. And it smells like beer, like stale old beer. Unfortunately, during the tour, a majority of the brew house was closed due to COVID restrictions. This is the parlor, or the break room. This is where the workers would come grab a beer midday. Imagine having a cold one at your desk. It's called a bottling room, but 90% of it's actually canning. They have multiple locations, so the bottling's done down the road. As the tour ends, we head into the tasting room. In Michigan, they don't have any distribution of Yingling. Texas might be the next state coming, but the only beer I've actually ever seen really is the Yingling Lager. So when we came here, there was maybe five or six other beers that I've never seen before. During Prohibition, they couldn't sell alcohol anymore, so they had to figure out a way to still make money. So they utilized their machinery for making beer to make ice cream. We're in the ice cream parlor right now, but now it's the tasting room. Our lager, it's been out since like 1985. Once um, Dick Yingling took over the company, he found the recipe, brought it out, and I'm pretty sure our lager is like worth 80 to 90% of our sales. Our porter is like our only other really dark beer besides our Hershey porter that comes out during the holidays. For all you parents out there, the tour was just as fun for the kids. They serve a birch beer at the end, which is like a root beer. And we got four different beers, two each. We got the premium, the Chesterfield, the mango, and the golden. Let's see how they are. Thanks for the free beer, Richard. We had way too much fun in the tasting room. Probably not the best idea heading into the gift shop. Okay, after the tasting, they direct you straight to the gift shop. Best planning ever. Best gift shop ever. Play a little pigskin. Get rough in the woods. Adding one to the van. Lisa, where are we going to fit those beers? We don't have any room. Eh, we'll throw out the weights. Alright guys, you really don't need weights when you got Yingling. So subscribe and we'll do all the heavy lifting. Thanks for joining our tour.